What's up, boys and girls? Happy Monday, April 20th. Today we're going to do three problems um, using R, D, W, and tape diagrams to solve the word problems. You can pause it at any time. And you're going to need pencil and paper. And so go get that and pause the video and then come on back and let's sit down and solve three problems together. The third one's going to be your exit ticket. Okay? So here we go. This is our first problem. Frankie has a 64 inch piece of rope and another piece that is 18 inches shorter than the first. What is the total length of both ropes? Okay. You can pause the video and write the problem down if you need that extra little bit of help. But I'm going to go ahead and move on and help you solve it. But you need to follow along. Here we go. Let's clear this area out. Let's go back and reread and double check for any important information. Frankie has a 64 inch piece of rope and another piece that is 18 inches shorter than the first. Okay, so let's read, draw, write. Let's draw it out. Here we go. One piece that is 64 inches. There's my tape diagram for 64 inches. And another piece that is 18 inches shorter. 18 inches shorter. We don't know what this length is, but we know that from here to here is 18 inches. So these two pieces make 64 inches. Okay. What is the length of both ropes? Total is a word that I missed that is super, super important. So what is the total length of both ropes? So let's go ahead and figure out. 64 is one of the pieces. We need the other piece of rope. To figure that out, let's go ahead and subtract this. 64 minus 18. 64 minus 18. Can I take away eight ones from four ones? No, I can't. So I have to go next door and borrow. Unbundle a 10, move it over, and now we have 14 ones. 14 minus 8, 6. 5 minus 4, 5 minus 1 is 4. I got ahead of myself. So now I know my second piece, 46 inches. Let's add these both together because what is the total length? That was the first step. That was the first step. To get to the answer, we need to do the second step. 64 plus 46. Start with the ones. Four ones plus six ones, ten ones. One plus six is seven plus four more, 11, 110 inches for the first one. Now the exit ticket is gonna be very, very similar to this one. The numbers will be different, but it's gonna be two steps just like this one. Let's review a little bit. When we read the problem, we knew that one of the pieces was 18 inches shorter than the first, but we needed to know the length of total of both ropes. So we figured out one was 64, that was in the problem. The other one was 18 inches shorter. So this is what I drew, was 18 inches shorter. That was what we were looking for. To figure that out, 64 minus 18, 64 minus 18 to give us this length, 46 inches. But we needed the total of both. So 64 plus 46, 110 inches, boom. Let's move on. Okay, slide this away. Pause. If you need to go back and look over some of that, I know I go a little bit fast on the video, but that's what's great about the video is you always can go back. And we're going to try to start doing some videos a little bit more. Okay? All right. Here's the second one. 
We're gonna work this one together, and the third one, I'm gonna help you start it, and that's gonna actually be your exit ticket. So here we go. Remember, if you need to pause it and take a picture, and go write this down and take some important information, that's gonna be super, super important. All right, the total length of all three sides of a triangle is 96 feet. The triangle has two sides that are the same length and one of the equal sides measures 40 feet. What is the length of the side that is not equal? So here's our triangle. We know that both of these are the same. Let's draw it out. R D W. We did the reading part. Now we're starting to draw it out. Okay. The total length of the triangle is 96 feet. Here's our triangle. And all three sides equals 96 feet. We need to find out this side. The triangle has two sides that are the same length. That's these two. One of the equal sides, equal means the same, one of the equal sides measures 40 feet. So this one is 40, which means this one is 40, because they're equal. What is the length of the side that is not equal? Okay, so we have the total, all three parts, equals 96. We know 40 and 40, that's terrible writing, I'll rewrite that. 40 and 40, we know that that equals 80, and we don't know this one. So let's do 80, take it away 96. So now we look like this, 96 minus 80. Double check, 96 feet, three sides of a triangle, yep. Triangle has two sides that are the same length. We found that out. One is equal measure of 40 feet. What is the length of the side that is not equal? Exactly. 96 minus 80. Let's go ahead and take it down. 6, take away 0. 6, 9, take away 8. 1, 16 feet is our answer 16 feet boom okay take a picture if you need it if i went a little bit too fast you can go back and practice and work it at your own pace too awesome i wish i could ask if there are any questions i'm sure that there are if you do have questions remember we do our zoom meetings on fridays all right here's the question for the exit ticket okay might say number one when you get to the exit ticket on Google Classroom. And I'll read it to you and I'll help you lay it out and then I'm gonna stop the video. Chris has 57 inch piece of string and another piece that is 15 inches longer than the first. What is the total length of both strings? Mm. Let's get organized. I'm gonna clear this off from problem number two. Chris, take notes if you need it, has a 57 inch piece of string. 57 inch piece, we'll call that piece A. And another piece that is 15 inches shorter. So let's draw our two tape diagrams. This one's 57. Tape B is the one we kinda don't know yet. We know that it's 15 inches shorter. So we need to know what is this number. Once you figure that out, what is the total length of A plus B? Box it, call it a day. Okay? All right. There you go, Kipsters. I miss y'all. There are three problems for this today. This is the exit ticket. If you have any questions, make sure you ask. I love you guys. Bye-bye.